Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Alana and as you can see, I am working today. I am designing a home for some lucky individual and I want you guys to tag along. Honestly, I've been having so much fun on the new DLC and I just thought it's about time that I <laughs> come out of my own Animal Crossing world and just bring you guys back into what I'm doing and yeah so I decided to actually record myself playing because I have been literally non-stop playing this game since the update and since the DLC came out and yeah oh my gosh I'm having so much fun and I can't wait to see what you guys are doing and I can't wait for you to see what I've been up to. So let's jump into it and pick someone lucky to finally <laughs> design their dream vacation home. So I'm still kind of getting my bearings with decorating on the smaller scale of the, you know, the outside and the insides. But I really want to do something kind of farmy and cutesy and sort of things like that. So I think the best option that we had out of all of these blinking lot would have had to be obviously Goldie and she is who I ended up going with and yeah I really like how it turned out she um, obviously initially wanted something to do with a kitchen and I thought okay why not create a sort of farmyard for her outside and then she can have a really cute like home inside with her very own kitchen I didn't want to do um like her own sort of restaurant thing I really wanted to give her like a, her own like farmhouse or home with her own kitchen in it there so that was the plan going into this so I needed to make sure when picking this that I had enough room for the garden um for her to have that little farmyard area that I was thinking of and I think I picked the, a pretty good one with good amount of space had that bit of water with it to kind of imply that uh, that's what you get the water for the plants and things like that and the crops so yeah that's what I that's why I ended up picking this home and yeah I think it came out really cute there is a lot of kind of work that I still need to be put into my designs I'm still kind of learning some tricks of the trades of making it a little bit more cluttered obviously because we have very limited space um where we, it's not kind of like the sims where you can kind of clutter closer it's all in one space in that they have to have um so yeah i'm still trying to kind of get around that obviously i've played this before but it's you know to create these rooms you really want to make it lived in and cluttered but I am still trying to learn the best way of doing that. So yeah, this is the house. Lots of space outside as you can see. I think it's perfect for that farm vibe that I wanted for the garden. And I think that is really what I achieved. Honestly, I I can't get over how much they've added into the game. And like I haven't come across come across like so much stuff like I haven't seen yet. I'm seeing a lot of it obviously by playing this um i'm unlocking more furniture in the scenario of doing up someone's house so i can get to see a lot of the furniture that i haven't yet unlocked for my own island yet um but yeah i'm really excited and i'm enjoying seeing the new things they've added and like trying to think of different ways that i can add it into my own island honestly i i never played the the you know the nintendo ds version of this game um i think it's like the home designer of whatever it was um so i never really got to play it and i never you know i never played it so i don't know actually what it was like but oh my gosh i absolutely love this one so much so i think i would have really enjoyed that at the time um but yeah honestly i'm just really impressed by this game i think it adds a lot i I am on it for hours and hours and hours and I'm losing so much time. I feel like I'm back in lockdown uh, last year again when I'm just losing so much time to Animal Crossing again. And honestly, I'm just having so much fun. That is like the main part of this is that I'm having so much fun. And I can't believe there's blinking tractors in the game. There's the cars in the game. Like, what the heck? like the sims doesn't even have cars yet and animal crossing beat them to it oh my gosh honestly they've just added so much and it's really showing in the builds that i'm creating i just feel they're a bit more dynamic 
than what I've done before. I still haven't um, actually designed my island yet. I've just been so sort of focused and just enjoying doing <laughs> doing the DLC. I have kind of put my island to one side, like I'm doing all my dailies. I've actually cleared a lot of the island to prepare for when I do do it, but I'm just waiting until I find more items um, ready for when I start doing areas, then I've got the kind of items that I'm wanting for it. Um, but yeah, honestly, I'm in no rush, to be honest. I'm I'm just enjoying myself. I'm doing, you know, I'm, I'm playing it every day as it is, and it's just, I don't know, there's no pressure to do anything. But I've just been playing it literally non stop the last few days. I was like, um, I think it's about time that I actually make a recording of it and make a video of just playing it and honestly just enjoying it and going with the flow of it. And yeah, I, I, I'm just, as you can tell, I'm just having a really good time. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you've been enjoying it, what's your favourite part of it, is it the update, is it the downloadable content, um, the DLC even, you know, let me know what you are like enjoying and appreciating the most because honestly, I'd, I don't know if you could even pick because there's just so much that is in it now. Um, but yeah, I've just been really, really enjoying myself. So as you can see, I've made these two sort of one crop area and then another crop area. So, but more for like the veg and kind of her own little, you know, veg garden for her, for her cooking in the kitchen. Oh, and I love the fact that we can change the time and the weather. I just think it's so amazing, especially for pictures and, and really capturing what it looks like. But yeah, this is what I created. I think I really, I think I did a pretty decent job, to be honest. Like I love my, the custom design I've got for the paths. I love that. I think that really adds to the kind of farm area effect. But yeah, I think I did a really good job on this part. Let me know what you think. We're gonna do inside. So follow me inside, please Goldie and whoever you are watching this. Let's go to So downstairs I was thinking this is going to be the kitchen and living area. I really wanted it to be, initially I was going in for like a really kind of grandma Corey sort of look but I think I kind of in the end mixed it up a little bit with like modern slash grandma core i think in my opinion but like i said i'm really just testing out items and trial and error as i always say and just placing things down moving them about deleting replacing all that stuff just to kind of really get to grip with it because one thing actually i'm really glad about the dlc is that it doesn't actually mark you on it if that makes sense it's basically asking you you know all i want in this room uh these three items and as long as you put them in i'm happy so in that sense i'm really glad because it takes the pressure off and by the way those partitions i bloody love they are i think they've literally been in every single build I've done pretty much since I realized what the heck they were because I didn't use them for a while first of all because I just didn't realize what they were and oh my god they are literally in every single build I <laughs> at one point I was like okay I can't make a build with them because that's it's pretty much my focus but I just end up putting them in because they just this oh I just love them so 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 much I just think they really just tie a room together and they add that little bit of character in it. Oh, I just, I love it so, so much. I'm hoping in my next few builds that I record for you guys, I wanna really test myself and push myself and get out of my comfort zone of this like cutesy home and, you know, cottagey thing going on because I feel like that's probably my strongest designing point. Um, so yeah, in my next video, I really want to test myself and push myself to the limit a little bit. Um, but yeah, you can see by the end of this, like, these are my vibes. 100%. 110%. But like, honestly, my biggest, I think my best advice for designing rooms like this is to just literally just chuck everything you like down. 
and then place them together and then just do little sections by little sections and kind of add on to that and add on to that and just focus on the main furniture so that's like the bigger things and then once you're sort of happy with what you're doing as you can see I then go on to my carpets um, and I might do my flooring and my walls then sometimes I do it first sometimes I do it like after I've placed all the furniture and then once I've done the carpets I will then go on and like decorate with plants and then after I've done the plants I will then decorate with sort of clutter objects I call them so that's just things like I don't know books uh, food teapots you know that sort of stuff just the clutter stuff um so that's my kind of order and how I do it obviously you can do it however you want I just find it easier to clutter at the end obviously because everything's placed <laughs> but obviously it's up to you you can pick ahead of time what you would like to put down and then you kind of might have more of an idea of what you would like but as you can see me and wallpaper and flooring we are not friends because at that this is the only thing I'm struggling with at the moment is finding wallpaper that I like and I vibe with that's not the same thing because the wallpaper that you can see that I'm using now I have used loads and obviously you can see why because it's such a nice wallpaper but that's the only thing I'm finding at the moment is my wallpaper and my flooring game is lacking but I do think that's probably on me because I don't really collect wallpaper and flooring that much well since well before the update anyway since the update I have been checking the shop and going to Sahara just because I know there are more uh, flooring and and uh, wallpaper but yeah this is the lower room this is the kitchen and dining area love it I really love the ceiling decorations that like rope thingy I don't even know what it is but I like that it just adds that little thing and obviously the vines I love as well so this is the downstairs area let me know what you think and then once we've shown you this we will move on to the upstairs room and then we are officially done so here we have the upstairs room the plan for this room is this is going to be where she goes to bed at night sleeps relaxes chills out so i really wanted to give her kind of her own like cute space so again I literally go through all the items the bulkier items that I like and I chuck them down I might pick the colour ahead of time but sometimes I usually just chuck them down and then I will actually recolour um but yeah I really wanted sort of um I don't know a nice vibe in this room so I was thinking you know everybody loves a, a wall of book bookshelves so I thought that would be perfect I really really love that like counter I don't even know what it would be called like shelf thingy I really really like that so I thought that would be a perfect place for her to have an actual tv where she can chill and watch before she goes to bed and yeah that was basically this room was really like I wasn't sure where I was going with it at all and at one point I was like what the heck have I done it looks terrible but I think I save it it's not my it's my best work <laughs> no but I think I save it at the end I think it's passable I think the other like the downstairs and the outside is way 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 better but like I said I am it's a work in progress in my brain and my skills is a work in progress but I'm definitely getting somewhere it'll do for this one <laughs> plus I did another two you know the other two were cute so I can pass with a passable one um, but yeah, I think the clutter did definitely saved it in the end and just made it a little bit more lived in and looked a bit more like a room, I guess, as much as it can. Obviously, it's going to look like a room, but you know what I mean? It just looked a little bit more homely um, towards the end. And again, we go through my phase of trying to find wallpaper and flooring, which didn't take that long in this one because I already knew what wallpaper I had been using downstairs. So I just brought that upstairs and also had like a focal point wall in it as well can't remember what it's called at all but you know what I'm on about and yeah so this is a stage I was like 
was totally missing something so this is when I was like going through and looking for some clutter items that will just make it a little bit more lived in and homely so I was like let's just drag a pillow down some paper and call it a day <laughs> but yeah I hope you guys like this one as well because it's okay you know what I mean it's okay but it'll, it's passable you know it's passable but yeah let me know in the comments down below out of all of the three areas and rooms that I did which one is your favourite? And I've got a little surprise for you. Let's do the grand reveal of the outside. Let's just enjoy this. I'm not going to speak to this spot. I'll let you enjoy it. my gosh I love that little montage I think it's so so cute but there we go there we have it all three areas and rooms all done and dusted like I said before I am loving this game so 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 blinking much and I hope you guys are too and I'm sure you are yeah let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video what you liked the most Please let me know your favourite parts of the new update and DLC, like I've said previously. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe as it really does mean a lot. And also, don't forget to like this video too. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!